Man, welcome back to Off Trend, man. We back in the gang, back in the building. Another conversation, another discussion, another topic. I'm here with Eva Gotti. You know what I mean? I'm here back again with the bro Ray. And today, yes, um, I guess it was put on it was put on my bro Ray's desk today. I guess a lot of females been popping their shit on, on uh Facebook, uh showing they ass a little bit too much, I'm guessing. And he wanted me to pose this question. And uh, for the young lady, we're going to let you go first. Cause, you know, we, okay. we gentlemen, we believe in ladies go first, you know, over here. So uh, do you believe attention is worth more than your morals? And of how you feel not. about that? So me personally, I'm going to say this. When you are solid in who you are, you don't have to really do too much. You get what I'm saying? Like the attention is going to come to you. But just because you get attention don't mean you always have to accept it either. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So me personally, I always live by morals and principles. How you carry yourself. You get what I'm saying? What you put out there. How you want people to address you. What you what you answer to. Because I also believe you are what you answer to. If you know yeah. that you're not this, that, and the third, then don't answer to it. You get what I'm saying? Like, you just got to yeah, stay yeah. intended who you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Uh, bro, I want to ask, I want to pose your uh the same question to you because I want to hear your opinion on it, and uh, because I want how you how you think about the whole side of that coin. Uh, for me, bro, it's like um, like I be telling you all the time, like I was raised with a lot of women, a lot of strong-minded women, women that never really revealed their body. You know what I'm saying? I really can't name a girl in my family that's ever showed their ass on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So. It's like, for me, it's like, I feel like attention is taking over because it's like the morals no longer matter. Like, it's like, I'm going to go to the club in lingerie with my ass half out, and I don't care because I'm a woman. I, I can do this because I'm a woman. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, it's just like, it's definitely attention seeking. And a lot of women say, oh, I'm just doing it for me, and I ain't worried about, you know, doing it for no niggas. If you walk out the house with your ass out, you're walking out the house with your ass out for niggas to look at you. Yeah. Like, that's just the moral of the story. So it's like, for me, it's a girl, it's a nigga for every girl, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas, are, some niggas like that shit. Some niggas be like, cool, you can wear whatever the fuck you want to wear, whatever. But just know... One so, day that shit gonna backfire on your ass. So, uh, this question is for the young lady. With that in mind, say you were, say you were in that type of line of work where like Instagram paying you, uh, as well. You need to do certain things to make sure your your uh your bills are getting paid and your kids are getting fed. Uh, is that attention? Okay, or when is it okay to uh, to uh, decline your morals for attention? I wouldn't never say decline your morals because it go back to what I said earlier. Like you gotta stand ten in who you are. You get what I'm saying? To yeah. play devil's advocate on what Ray was saying. Yeah, yeah. I see both sides of the fence when it comes to that. Be, and I'm only saying that because, for one, I am a woman. You get what I'm saying? I never was the type to, like, show off a lot of stuff. But I have always been a tomboy. You get what I'm saying? So the older I get, like, I'm 31 now. The older I get, of course, I'm going to want to live in my feminine ways. I want to dress up a little bit. But I don't have to do too much to get the attention because of who I am. It's going to come to me regardless. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Now, back to what she was saying, when it comes to somebody paying you for something, if I wouldn't do that for free, why would I do it just because of a couple of dollars? That means no matter the amount of what somebody gives to me, I'm just going to be like, oh, why right, fuck what I got going on over here because yeah. he's giving me a couple of dollars. You yeah. get what I'm saying? I ain't never been yeah. that way. But so um, as you say, uh, devil's advocate, I, I always like to play devil's advocate in a lot of these questions um, <laughs> because... I believe morals is subjective. We all have our own view on morals and our own view on standards. 
Some uh, uh, the white people that was raised differently morally, we was raised differently morally. Everybody had their own standards on morals. So uh, I always believe if the attention that you're getting paid for is in line with your morals, then do it. Because a lot of people morals are not high anyway. We know some people don't man clean that house is is not second nature. Where it is might be yours, where you like clean keeping your house clean. Bro, some people don't have bro. that type of moral standard. This is my thing though. Well, we got out. Oh, he he be back. He, he... My bad, here I go. But we was all raised by black people, bro. Like, some yeah. people was raised by crackheads. Some people was raised by whatever. But yeah. everybody in their family had a grandma or somebody that told them how they were supposed to raise themselves and how they well, were supposed to present themselves. To I, the I'm glad you said that, too, because I was also going to say your morals and principles go back according to how you was raised. See, Ray said he was raised by a lot of women. For me, I was raised by I was raised by my grandfather. You get what I'm saying? So I was raised by even though I was raised by a man, he also taught me how a woman is supposed to carry herself. You get what I'm saying? So my grand, I never learned how to be a woman from a woman. You get what I'm saying? I learned that from a man. Yeah. So, I mean, I, see, that's why I feel it's always important. Like, if you're a man, you got daughters to be in your daughter's life because your daughter's going to implement the type of man that she sees. And if, uh, if your child mother keep bringing these not shit niggas around your daughter, she going to end up fucking with a not shit nigga herself. Uh, I'm not saying she's going to, but it's more odds that she does fuck with somebody who's not shit. That's why I would say it's always, if you got daughters, man, be a be in your daughter's lives because it's, it's important. Daddy issues are real. They yes. are real. Just like uh, mother issues are real. A lot of uh, mothers had to be too strong to their sons, telling their sons to shut up, stop crying, and all the extra shit, trying to show them how to be a man. They couldn't. A lot of these men growing up uh, emotionally unstable with these mama issues. So, I mean, uh, as parents, um, I don't think we should never uh, choose attention over morals because my morals, like y'all said, grandparents, but hey, let's be real. A lot of our grandparents came through the heroin and uh, crack epi uh, epidemics, so uh, a lot of our moral. They, went, bro, they went naked though. Huh? They went walking out the house their ass out. They oh man! Fucking, but they went walking the house their ass out. Hey, 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 freak Nick, freak Nick in Atlanta, man. What's going on? In the, hey. Listen, bro. Listen. Hey, hold on. Listen, because people always say that, bro. I always see the memes going around like, "Oh, our generation be complaining," and this how. The old generation was no. It's just a fact that every generation had hoes. No, that's yo. all it is. Oh, uh, that's just Jesus days though. That's just Jesus days. 1900, 2000. Every generation had hoes, nigga. All our mamas wasn't going to freak me. My mama ain't never been no fucking freak me. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah, you see, look, but we look how our parents are different. Like our parents wasn't going to freak nicks. Our parents had different type of morals, and my mother wore long My dresses. mother probably was going. My mom probably was going. Your mom was lit, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. hey. Well, it's hey. crazy because they like said I was at? raised by my grandfather. So my how my grandfather raised me was he never wanted me to be like my mom or like how my aunt was. You get what I'm saying? So when she used to, yeah, my mother, because she used to stretch. Right so when my mom used to send me like pictures, the clothes that she would have on, he wouldn't I'm show me. Right now. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, because yeah. he didn't want me to I'm see a woman dressed yeah, like that. Or he didn't want me to see a woman present herself like that. Yeah, yeah. See, I think that's very yeah, important. I mean, that's why, I mean, it's so hard. Because I mean, I got kids, uh, uh, daughters that are like eight years old. And you know TikTok and all the extra Facebook reels, YouTube YouTube shorts and shit. They show all these uh, young ladies who are beautiful, but uh, they're in provocative clothes. And I don't want my young pretty daughters thinking, "Hey, the way you gotta be beautiful is in these provocative clothes, man." You got you got morals. You you're not gonna be showing your ass on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Yeah, because. Uh, I believe it's always the man's fault. Uh, I mean, contrary to a lot of people believe, I believe a woman follows a man at all times, even a, a young lady. So all the man that's been in a woman's life has uh, chosen to uh, help her steer her point of view in type, into that type of situation. So if you got a young girl who's online showing her ass, it's because she has so much attention from certain guys. And if uh, 
if she slowed down, really thought about it, those guys' attention really didn't mean shit because uh, I don't know when uh, paying attention ever really pay bills. You right. I mean? But then also, like I said, it depends on the woman too because some women are in their space, in their lives where they feel like it's not always about a man. You get what I'm saying? Like some women may dress a certain type of way for them to like, believe it or not. You get what I'm saying? Some women no. may used to been big bone when they was no. younger. And now they slimmed up. So now the clothes they wear, they taking more pictures. You get what I'm no. saying? Going outside more, yeah, without yeah. feeling it. So it ain't really got, I mean, yeah, attention is cool, but I guess it just all depends on the woman. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, but I would say I said that was more like an exception, like that uh, one out of five women who's really like that. I mean, cause I met a couple. I mean, uh, I met a lot of women who've been through a lot of life, and they've been through a lot of bullshit, but they still continue to want to look pretty and look good for themselves yeah. because they're not trying to let everybody else take them down. You ain't finna destroy right. their soul. Yeah, but uh, but I still really gotta be in you, bro. No, but look, but look I, I still believe the end goal of them looking good and looking pretty, even though they say it's for themselves, the end goal is still to find a good man. It's still it's still to find a man because I don't care who you is. Nobody wants to grow old and be alone. And I with this new generation, don't they don't give a fuck. You lie like a motherfucker. Huh? You lie like a You said you do want to be alone? No, I'm, I'm being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic. Shit. I, I refuse to be. Bro, uh, at the end of the day, bro, a woman, this is this is my opinion, bro. A woman can still come out the house and be sexy, not having her ass hanging out the back of her shorts. And not having her cleavage where you damn near can see. Bro, these girls are wearing lingerie to the club now, bro. Like, and they trying to make it seem like you wrong for saying something about it, bro. Like, no, nigga, that shit is for the bedroom, my nigga. Like, period. You don't go to the motherfucking. Uh, sex store and buy lingerie. I get on scene and buy lingerie and say, I'm about to wear this to the club, girl. Like, no, nah, nigga, that's supposed to be for your nigga. Nah, I it's not like for your you. nigga no more. Nothing's, nothing's, uh, what I say, left kept for your uh, relationship anymore. Uh, these girls, I feel uh, like, too, a little bit, but it depends on who you fucking with. Because you gotta think from a woman's perspective, and I'm only saying this because I am a woman, if you in a relationship with a guy, and you see that not even that he cheating per se, but he could be cheating. You get what I'm saying? He cheating with those type of women. He going, his fetish is for those type of women. You get what I'm saying? In your mind, it's like, damn, I'm not even that type of woman. So what you doing here with me? So maybe if I do become that type of woman, I can gain the attention that they get. But whole time, men actually contradict themselves when it comes to that because that's not even the type of woman that they really want. But that's the type of woman mm -hmm. that they'll risk their home for, they'll cheat on their family for. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah. I, I don't know. It's like you say that you look down on women like that, but you turn around and fantasize those type of women. You get what I'm saying? Like, they really the type of women that attract you. But you don't want that type of woman. But then when your woman oh, turn into that same type of woman, it's like, oh, babe, what you doing? Like, that's not you. But that's the type of woman that I see that you like for real. So, because I don't niggas know. ain't dumb. Man, Miss, Miss uh, uh, Eva got it. I'm going to tell you this one thing niggas ain't dumb. Uh, we know what looks good, smell good. 90% of the time ain't good. Uh, it, it just, uh, just the stats, the, the, uh, the numbers alone say most women who make the best wives are not nines and dimes. Like the most baddest bitches in the world don't make the best wives. It's always the average between sixes and eights make the best women. So, so we fantasize about the nines and the tens, and we want to pluck and fuck those. But guarantee we're not leaving our sevens and our eights for those nines and tens that can't cook. Uh, they think they pretty pretty them, pretty uh, bro, in the world. After mm -hmm. you after you have sex with so many women, bro, that shit goes out the door. It, it, but it you still no. had sex with it, though. You still gave it. But some now, time as I'm older, I'm like, that's not back then. Yeah, but now that I'm older, I'm like, yeah, that shit ain't popping no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't want the girl that got on the, the most revealing outfit in the club no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I go out, I'm looking for that girl that's in the cut that ain't nobody really paying attention to. Like, oh, yeah, yeah she the one right there. Ain't nobody 
Ain't nobody looking at her. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that's yeah, how I yeah, approach the shit. Like, time. but I don't even go out looking for. I don't even go out looking for that type of shit no more. I go out to have a nice time. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's that. But if I am going out looking for something like that, then you know I will be looking for that girl that's in the cut, not that girl that's yeah. the life of the so party type shit. Do you think shit. it's an age thing, or do you think it's where a man gets at in his life where he done with that type of lifestyle, or he done with wanting that type of woman? Uh, it's it's both because uh, I think we come with age. I think it's both. Yeah, because look, I think look, it's look, age, you age a- because you know, like it's because, like for me, like when I was younger, like yeah, that's what I used to look for. We going out to the club, we about to get lit. I'm about to find the baddest bitch in the club. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I used to be on. But like now, like I said, when I go out, I'm not looking for that type of woman no more. But I don't want okay. the girl that the security guards know. The DJ know, all the niggas in the club know. <laughs> but check this out, though. Mark right? know. Her. But that's why I gotta play devil's advocate because you can have the other side of the coin. You can have a man. Look, he worked his whole life to build up his career. He turns thirty-five, turns your age, 35, 40 years old. He been playing this safe. Now he's making a hundred fifty grand a year. He's driving a Corvette. Now the women's trying to look at him different. Now his ego and all that's inflated. Now he's like, I go get me some. Now I'm finna play the field. Now I'm finna go get all the baddest bitches. I'm finna go. I'm finna go get me. Uh, I'm you know, glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Your ass, boy. I'm glad you said that. Both. That's why I say it could be both. No, no, no. Listen though. Any nigga like that that change for money ain't a real nigga anyway. That's what it's like, what I was bro. I done had thousands of dollars, bro. Like money, bro. I done had thousands of dollars, bro. And that shit don't mean. But I was just listen to me, bro. I'm a t- and people be laughing when I say this, bro. I fucked the most bitches when I was broke, nigga. Yeah. Not when I had money. Why? Why? Because no, listen. Why? Because I know I'm that nigga. Not because I got money. It don't take money to be that nigga. You can be that nigga. Like, all these girls get online all the time front. Like, I ain't picking no nigga up if he ain't got no car. I ain't fucking with no nigga if he ain't got no house. Your bitches are lying. You're lying. Because if that nigga swinging that good yeah. dick and he attacked his nigga, you gonna go pick that nigga up and you gonna bring Thanks. that nigga to your crib. Yeah, I've been seeing that. Look, I've been seeing that shit on Facebook all the time. It be girls that got baby daddies that ain't shit. They've been letting these niggas hit since high school who ain't shit. Now they want to look for a nigga with good credit, his own car, his own house. Now you want to get a but nigga to come save that you. Now? Who, don't well, don't, come, don't uh, come looking for a nigga to come to save that? you after you don't have three kids by three other niggas. Oh, see, man, when you say three other niggas, I can see if you had. I can see if you had babies look, by one nigga. I can see one... you, no, I can see if you had a baby by one nigga. I can see that. But right. what I be seeing, the majority of these women, especially from Tulsa, they be living in they be living in uh the projects or on on section eight ain't paying a lick of money for rent and look at money for nothing got all these kids but have the audacity to say niggas ain't shit because they broke they can't they ain't got this they ain't got that nigga we would have everything if we if we give us the kids they don't want to, well, most women would not admit a, a man can raise a child just like a woman can we just don't have to, both of us don't have the opportunity as as y'all do because as soon as we break up the child automatically goes with the woman. but that's not true because a lot of i put it like this since we on that subject a lot of men don't really want to put in the work that a woman would do when it comes to getting the kids because it's it's easier to just let her have them so you don't have to deal with the shit than it is to go against her to fight for your kids basically not saying that you have to but i look at it like this men are being in a woman dm for five years try to get that woman he will not stop until he get that woman. But when it comes to your kids, it's just like, no, I don't feel like dealing with it. But because, why, not, why not fight for something that you want? Because cause look, cause look, I'm going to tell you how those two don't equate. Me being your DMs don't cost me nothing. Me fighting, you're going to have to either get a lawyer. That's what you uh, couldn't uh, uh, it, it, all depends, it all depends on the type of woman you is. I fuck around have to, uh, me and your brothers fuck around have to fight. I have, to, uh, I have to punch on your daddy or something. I, it, it's, some, it's some extras going in too. You know, flat my tires. You know, you know, uh, written on the side of my car. It's all types of shit. But I don't. I do agree though. I don't give a fuck. 
I, I do not any man who don't fight for the child in any circumstance is not a man regardless i think if you got kids find a way to do what you can for your children because you made them but at the same time a lot of our brothers and a lot of our sisters need to stop playing with motherfuckers who ain't shit because niggas ain't shit the bitches ain't shit but, but like but we say, how how would you know that if somebody comes into the situation portraying to be shit you don't know that they not some shit unless until you cross that point where they gotta show you they not but if a okay, man no. come in and show you all these things you get what i'm saying like you know you're not going no somewhere unless until you fuck around have a baby with them move and with I, them move in with them and i don't fault you for your first like if you had a, your first baby daddy he ain't want shit. I don't fault you for that because there's a lot of women who have been misled by our bullshit ass niggas on their first child. But if you get to two baby daddies, yeah, like second yeah, baby daddy ain't shit. We're going to start figuring out yeah, it must not be shit either. I agree. Because the first one, all right, that's like trial and error. But you got to learn some mistakes. But see, but see, bro, I look at that shit in a different aspect for me. I look at this shit in a different aspect for me because, like, I take care of my son solely. So that's why when women approach me, you can't approach me with the, oh, I need this bill paid because I'm doing bad because my baby daddy don't do shit. I need this done because my baby daddy don't do shit because I'm going to hit you with the, guess what? My baby mama do the motherfucking thing. So I, I don't look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, it's way different. No, same thing. I had my son for uh, two or three years, uh, two or three years straight. And I didn't ask his child mother for a thing. And as well, when I was working, they were still taking child support out my check to give her. And I had my child. Um, so I've always, yeah. I don't I don't understand men and women. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, women bash on here. That's not what I do. But I don't understand women who go get on all these Section A and all these subsidies, but stay on them for four or five years. Use that one or two years, go get you some schooling, go get you some education, yeah, I agree. And, and, and move ahead. But what we have created, we, man, come on now, let's be real. We all know that one girl that's been on Section 8, eight nine years, 10 years. She has a she has a baby, her daughter getting on Section 8, they fuck around moving in on neighbors. You know what yeah. I mean? We're we, we, we going to be real about it. And niggas, and I say it's niggas' fault. It's not y'all fault. Men can do the same thing. Men like, can go, and that's the hard part to get men to understand. Like they have the same rights as women, but they don't know that because at the end of the day, the same way she like, if your kids was with you and you was a primary parent, just like how mom is, you can go get the same shit that she got. But men don't look at it that way. They just look at it like, oh well. The kids with you, the love. So why not? Why not take the kids with you? The kids don't always have to be with their mom. They can be with you too. But we gotta no. be honest. A lot of men are not on that level. Yeah. Giving them saying a lot of men yeah. don't, don't, have that that spot, don't have that own car. You, you give them saying mom is not all the time, you? but a lot of times mom is like more situated. She's more stable. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. it gotta be. It gotta be some type of. It gotta be some type of middle ground where yeah, a man has to understand. It's time for me to grow up. It's time I, I can get the same shit. You get what I'm saying? Like my son has to or daughter has to come stay with me. Where yeah, they gonna stay at if they with you? If you don't have your own spot. But that's why I say it's not your fault as women. It's our fault as men. Uh, yeah. Our fathers and our grandfathers weren't shit. You know what I mean? It's like our fathers spend time. My hell, my dad was a dope fiend my whole life. So. I'm just personal, my personal standpoint, my daddy wasn't shit. Yeah. So, uh, so a lot of our parents weren't shit. They didn't teach us to be shit. So a lot of these young niggas are out here just because they can get girls, they can not use condoms and have these babies and leaving these women to raise their children on their own. And a lot of these girls got to use a, uh, get out, got to get on section eight. But if our young man stepped up and said, Hey, if I have a baby with you, let's, Let's figure out how we can raise this child together. I think that'd be a better way uh, that we can move past that. And our young ladies won't have to be on Instagram yeah. showing their ass, uh, saying, fuck my morals, trying to get a nigga to got some money so they can help take care of their kids. If they baby daddy yeah, wouldn't shit, they would take care of their kids in the first place. Hell, because I don't, man, hey, I want to talk, hey, my child mother say, get the kids, I'm getting the kids. Yeah, I that's how mine is, is, like, <laughs> He know, cause I and another thing when it comes to women too, like 
it's always not always but most times it's a control thing and yes. me personally i always had to look at it like this it's either you're gonna be a single parent on purpose or you're not nobody wants to actually go through that shit alone you get what i'm saying yeah, so no. if you do have a father that's trying to step up or trying to take the weight off of you you have to allow him to do that you know, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these people, a lot of women who, like, they sit down with their uh, uh, child father and their child father sits with another girl. Uh, they start, they, they get angry that it wasn't child father no matter what he's trying to do. Like, I got friends who try to be good with them, but since they want to be good with them, they want to be good with them. But I still don't. Like, I still don't believe niggas should give up. Regardless of that the situation, get that shit put on paper. Uh, and anytime she don't want to give you the child, call the call the police. Uh, go back to court. Do what you need to do to put her under uh, punishment and make sure she knows that you mean business about being the father. But Real but, shit, a of, but a lot of black people, man, you know, young black people, we don't like to deal with the police, don't like to deal with the court system, we don't like to deal with none of that shit. So anything that has to do with going to uh, that's courthouse, what I'm saying. Uh, it's places. easier to just let her deal with it instead of yeah. really putting in that work. Because to yeah. be honest. If your child was with you, you still have the same opportunity to put her on child support. You will be the primary parent. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But men don't look at it that way. Or some men, let's be honest, just don't feel like dealing with it. Some men hey, like hey. their freedom. It's hard having your kids 24-7. And you can't go outside or you can't invite people over. like how, like, Because that's where morals and principles really come in at. You have to move a certain type of way. You don't want your kids seeing every fucking thing. You get what I'm yeah, saying? But a lot of men yeah, yeah. having their kids really show them like they not really the man. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking about it. Think about it. Yeah. But now, here we are, this day and age, having discussions like this, saying, do your attention and take up for your morals. And it all started when a nigga say, I'm going to walk out the house and not be a father. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, all, because if he was a father to that young lady, like I said at the beginning, if you a father to your daughter, she ain't gonna have these daddy issues. And if she is growing up with these daddy issues, it's gonna be something external outside the house. Ain't nothing yes. that I did. As a father, I know I'm gonna do my best as a father to raise good young ladies. That's my job. Yeah. But a lot of these young niggas, young brothers have lost their way. You know what I mean? They wanna be with the homie popping, parking, sand trip, sipping lean, uh, rocking around with uh, with but they, guns. Bro, they they young niggas, bro. Bro, it ain't just young niggas, though. Niggas been doing that, bro. But I tell niggas straight up, bro, like, I'm a type of nigga, bro, you can't even hang around me if you don't take care of your kids. Thanks. Like, I don't even fuck with niggas like that, bro. Like, if you don't take care of your kids, bro, it's no excuse for not taking care of your kids, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck about no court system shit, no baby mama drama, none of that shit, bro. It's no excuse, bro. Like, if you don't take care of your kids, my nigga, like, you just a lame-ass nigga to me. Like, point blank like, period. Like, like a, hey, no they're gonna be out here making excuses, bro. Exactly, bro. Uh, and the like nigga I'm with right now got kids. Nigga, he got a lot of kids. He take care of all his kids. Nigga, like, but look, it's always, it's always, it's always, it's always the niggas with three or kids or more that don't be complaining. But it's always the motherfucker got that one baby mama <laughs> with that one child. Act like he can't do shit. <laughs> Thanks. Bro, but you know what I tell niggas? I tell niggas this all the time, bro. I wish I had half of the baby mama that y'all got. Because I got a nothing ass baby mama, a not shit ass baby mama. So if I even had half of what you niggas get, half of the help of what you niggas get, I would appreciate that shit. Real nigga, shit. Hey, nigga, my child support is more than most people's rent in, that, in Tulsa. My child support is $1,347 a month. Jeez. So. So when right. niggas, so when niggas, look, 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 and I live in Dallas, Texas, where shit is expensive. I, I like y'all niggas be online living and talking where your rent's like six, seven hundred, and you live with somebody who live with somebody who live with somebody cow service. <laughs> Don't got it. You ain't got no bills besides your, besides your cell phone, and y'all complain about giving your child mother twenty, thirty dollars when she call for it because she needs some diapers, or the baby mama say, hey, I'm gonna go to the club. And you get mad because you want to drop the baby right. off. See, that's right. spiteful. If your child mother want to go to the club and you say you do not want to fuck with your child mother at all, 
where's the problem with letting her go to the club? Let her go get some dick. That, that's the that's the main problem though, bro. These niggas be lying. They, bro, I didn't, bro. The last, the last two of my pre- previous relationships, bro. The niggas stopped taking care of their kids because they baby mama had a nigga. That shit lame, bro. That's lame because you want to be with your baby mama so bad to where you say, I ain't going to take care of my kid. This one nigga told me, bro, he like, he told his baby mama, the nigga told his baby mama, like, he like, we need some groceries and shit. You know, you need to provide for the kids. He like, if you got a nigga over there, you shouldn't be asking me for no groceries or nothing. Type bro, shit. Bro, I'm like, bro, nigga, I'm, I'm, just here to, I'm just here to help my nigga. Look, I'm bro, just here to help my nigga. I'm not here to take care of your kids. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, I'm gonna tell you the kicker. I'm gonna tell you the kicker. Did they know? I'm. A, I'm, I'm a, this is people who watching this. If did y'all know, if somebody fucking your baby mama really, really good, she gonna treat you better. <laughs> I didn't know y'all. Hey, no. if, if somebody, if your baby mama got a nigga that she's worried about, and he's giving her that good dick, and she ain't worried about you. Do you know Thanks. everything that comes to the kid is gonna be happy? You should be Thanks. pushing her to go on dates. Go on a date, baby. You should got deal. I feel with Demi want to pay for her to go on a date. Go, <laughs> she here. But niggas don't know that. Niggas be so wrapped up about that's my girl. That's my pussy. If you say you don't fuck with her, you don't like her. Let a nigga, let a nigga get one of the honey dip, honey packs, and throw her goddamn back out. And I guarantee you, <laughs> it's a wrap for your ass, boy. Boy, you gonna be, bro. You gonna be living the best life, cause you gonna be on Instagram with four bitches, and she ain't gonna say nothing. Nothing. But do you want your baby? Cause she know she got a nigga that throwing her back out. <laughs> Hustle, 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 hustle